guys this is Miss Nat 100 so I have a lot to update you on so this is week one of month five. Oh, we're in the home stretch I'm so excited this journey is almost over I'm just ready to not be on pills every day um, so this is week one of month five and I'm happy to update that from week four of month four and week one of month five I didn't have any breakouts actually I only had like one and it actually was like right I don't know if you can see like right here somewhere. It was just one pimple and it actually started to get a little big and then I popped it because it was just hurting and then that was it. That was it for like the entire month and honestly that is that is really, 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 really good because anytime I'm about to get on my cycle, it's it's just really bad. I break out everywhere and I actually have seen like old pictures and old videos and honestly it's a tremendous 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 um i guess a tremendous update because um well not a tremendous update just a tremendous progress because before I, I was always breaking out and some of the pimples are huge some of them were small but i always had some type of breakout so the stuff is actually really really working and so i'm so excited about that so i went to my doctor's appointment earlier this week she kept me on the 80 milligrams per day we're gonna stay on that for the next couple of months and then after that i'll be done she said that i shouldn't still be breaking out but the fact that i only had one is a good thing because eventually i should get to a point where i'm not really breaking out um but she said everything looked good and she's gonna keep me on it and and by the end of the year, the beginning of 2018, I should be done and I'm so excited. So um, updates pretty much are still the same. No headaches, um, joint aches, very rare. I, I still am taking my vitamin D pills though. So that I think is helping and then that's it. And I'm taking the 40 milligrams in the morning and 40 at night. So aside from that and my lips being treacherous, that's pretty much it. The only other thing that I've noticed a lot more as if it's uh, a lot more of is when I wake up in the mornings my eyes are extremely fatigued it's almost like you're starting to get sick and you know how you get the, like eye crust and stuff like that's how I feel in the mornings now but that, that's only just started happening I've never even experienced that through my whole entire journey so it's kind of weird that that's happening now but hey I only got two months left so if it wants to do that for the next two months so I can just be done with this stuff go ahead and do it and then as long as after that I don't have to do it anymore I'm good so Aside from that, that's it. Let me show you my skin. This is the left side of my skin and I'm hoping the lighting is good. So no breakouts, just dark marks. I'm still working to lighten those up. And aside from that, my skin is looking really good. Sorry for the hair bonnet. I was cooking this morning and I didn't want my hair to smell. <laughs> so I have the hair bonnet on, but this is the right side. Pretty much no breakouts. And my skin is looking very, 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 very good just dark marks that just needs to be lightened up and then of course my forehead never had any issues so aside from the lightening up I'm pretty much you know doing pretty pretty good and and I love the fact that my skin looks like this and I'm just so excited to uh to um finish up and have clear skin um so that is my update for for week one month five I will see you all in week two bye Hey guys this is miss net 100 uh this is week two of month five um excuse the fact that my face looks extremely greasy that actually brings me to my very first point in this video um because I'm in month five and because I've been on this double dosage a day, my skin has been extremely dry. So my skin has been much, 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 much more drier than it's ever been in this journey, which is not a bad thing. But now it's affected like my regular skin and um, my face extremely. Um, I think I need to start doing more research on better uh, moisturizers, um, especially at night, because right now what I'm using is like the aquifer or something petroleum like, and it's really greasy. It's not cute, you know, but um, I need to find maybe a moisturizer that's deep, deep, deep enriching um, because right now my skin is extremely dry to the point where, and it might not show on here, but I have like patches of dry skin, like right here. My temples tend to be like the driest for some reason. I have no idea why I choose in certain areas, but I've been moisturizing with aquifer a lot because I know it helps with my lips. So if it helps with my lips, I'm I'm sure it'll help with my skin. Um, so really, um, I don't really have much to update you on. So week two has been similar to week one. No breakouts, um, no headaches, um, no joint aches, um, nothing that is worth actually telling you about and nothing new. So I'm glad that I'm almost in the home stretch and I'm almost done. I'm ready for this journey to be over. But I'm glad that there, um, the progress has maintained itself. I'm going to show you my skin. 
uh, this is the left side of my face. Um, I, I don't have any new breakouts. My skin is probably a little bit more clear and a little bit more like less dark because I have been using like a helping like I have a fade cream that helps with the dark marks um, because the dark marks do bother me even though you know I'm not breaking out which is a good thing. That was my left side. This is my right side so as you can see there aren't any breakouts. Uh, the darkest part used to be right here. Um, so they're still there but they're not as apparent as they were in the past. On my left side, this was my problem area as well and some parts down here. I did have a new breakout like some month, uh, like a week ago or about two weeks ago and it was right here. So that needs to be lightened up. But aside from that, that's how my skin is doing and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so I will update you all next week. I'm sure there probably won't be any changes. Um, I'm sure that I won't be breaking out in the next two, three weeks as well because my cycle just went off. So for the fourth week and the first week of month six will probably be the two weeks that, you know, I'll pay attention to. So that's pretty much it for this update. I will see you all in week three. Bye. Hey guys, this is Miss Nat 100. Um, first, let me apologize about my hair. Um, I actually forgot to make a video this week. This week is Thanksgiving week, so the week just got away from me. I didn't have an opportunity to kind of relax and make the video. And when I thought about it, it was just too late in the evening. And so it's later on in the week. And I just realized I needed to make this video before the week is up. So this is going to be my third week in my fifth month. My um, acne has not really returned. I mean, I will show you that I'm getting one bump, but my cycle is about to come on. This is the story of my life. Um, everything else seems to be okay. No joint aches, um, no headaches. Um, so it's pretty much the same update as last week. So I'm just going to show you my skin so that this can be a quick video. Um, so let me show you my skin. I'm going to show you my left side. So... Hopefully you guys can see this, but this is where I'm breaking out. It's a small outbreak. It's not nothing serious, and I'm hoping that the camera is picking it up. It's like right there. See it right there? Um, I don't know if it'll become a full-blown pimple. This one right here did. I thought it was not going to become a full-blown pimple, but it did. But my skin is getting clearer. I am using um, Ambi, um, a fade cream, but I only pretty much use it on areas that are the darkest. Um, and then um, this is the right side. No breakouts here. Skin is looking pretty clear. And then, of course, my forehead I never had issues with. Um, and that's pretty it as far as my skin goes. Um, so my next up update is going to be my fourth week in my fifth month. Hopefully there are no other breakouts besides this little one right here. Um, and I think that should be the up the wrap up for the fifth month. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, this is Miss Nut 100. Welcome back. So this is the fourth month. Nope, nope, nope. This is the fourth week of the fifth month. I am so like when you when when I say so, it might not show it in my face or my voice, but I'm so excited for this journey to be over. Um, I've appreciated the growth and the amount of change that has happened thus far, but I'm ready for it to be over. So after this week, I will be in my last month. Um, my doctor has not said that she's going to extend me past six months. So I'm excited for an additional four more weeks and then to be done. Um, so my last date will probably be the first week in, in January. I took my blood test today for my sixth month. I have my appointment next week, Monday. Today is actually November 30th. I realize I don't put the dates when I actually um, put these videos up. So it'll kind of give you an idea um, of what dates these things are happening. So I don't have any updates for you. Honestly, it's really what I said in the third week, um, no changes, no, no joint aches, no headaches. Um, I think my body has kind of adjusted only after like five months of this stuff, but, um, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative of that because those types of symptoms can be kind of, um, kind of, um, annoying. So I'm glad that I have not really experienced much of those. So um that's pretty much it i'm gonna show you my skin it has not changed um last time i think i told you this is my what left side i'm supposed to get some type of bump i don't know where it went but i was supposed to get some type of bump it never really became a full bump i did have this like cream that helps with like bumps that are about to come in i put it on there for a couple 
couple of days and now it's gone so this is my skin this is the left side um dark marks are fading slowly but surely um i'll ask my doctor what she can prescribe because i have like a two-tone color skin now like it's light here dark here dark here then light here then dark so we'll, i'll ask her how i can kind of work on getting my um skin like maybe one shade um, this is the right side. Um, there really aren't any changes like I said really all it is is just dark marks I do have like my skin is not smooth. I don't know I'll ask her about that as well, but it's kind of like bumpy with ridges maybe from Incoming or possible incoming bumps that are not coming up and then of course my forehead so that's what my skin is looking like. Um, my lips are still tremendously chapped. That's probably the only symptom that I have. But look, after this six months is over, I'm not going to have to worry about chapped lips anymore. And if that's the worst of my symptoms, I'll take it. So that's it. I want to make this video too long. So I will see you all in week one month. I can't even speak. Week one month six. Hooray. Bye, guys.